a gold rush in Mali's northern region led by armed groups. Al-Qaeda, ISIL fighters and Tuareg rebels control artisanal mines. Al Jazeera witnessed African migrants on their way to Europe, but forced by traffickers to dig for gold. Many are children working in the desert under extremely hot conditions. They search for the precious metal. A small nugget that will be sold on the international market. From the desert of Mali to the jewelry shops in Europe, the Middle East and Asia. We have been here for a year. My brother has been here for almost six months. We are provided with safety and security as long as we do the work. The UN Office on Drugs and Crimes has put out this map showing all the gold mining sites in the Sahel. Most are under the control of armed groups. In 2021, $13 billion worth of gold was produced from these sites. And non-state armed groups, they want to replace in the long term the state. So they stay there. And that when you want to replace the state, what do you do? You have to fund your operations with a lot of things. Ransom, uh, trafficking in persons and gold trafficking. The report states that UN planes from Mali's peacekeeping mission known as MINUSMA were used to smuggle gold from the northern city of Kidal to the capital Bamako. We reached out to MINUSMA, but they have declined to comment on the report. Mali's junta have asked the UN peacekeeping force to leave the country, including from the northern bases. Stepping in are Malian forces and Russian mercenaries from the Wagner Group. Last week, the country's junta signed an agreement with Russia to build the biggest gold refinery in West Africa. I think Mali is now realizing that they were losing 95% of their potential revenue. Uh, is trying to, uh, you know, take control of, of the territory, which means that that will have a, a bubble uh, effect in the displacement of those, these non-state actors. Rights group describe gold in Mali as a blood mineral fueling conflict. The northern frontier is set to become a fierce battleground for a precious metal to the world that Malians are dying for. Nicholas Hawk, Al Jazeera. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.